I've done a ton of analysis the last couple of days. I'm just gonna start blasting through this, starting with SPY on the hourly time frame. You're gonna see a yellow rising wedge, and then the price starts to push down. I'm gonna pull up my Elliott Wave degree chart here so you can kind of follow me. We had a move down out of that rising wedge, and I called that minute wave one. I'm looking for five waves on the minute degree, heading lower, and rejection at the 392 level would suggest that is going to happen because the rule for a wave four retracement is that it's not gonna close in wave one. And here you see the price come up and just get shattered, just thwack, ouch. And what happens after that? Well, we're probably gonna see the RSI come all the way back down into the oversold region, and we're gonna set a new low for the year. I believe that is currently what is the most likely scenario. If I zoom out onto the daily time frame, I do want to address the alternative scenario, which is a little more bullish. It's still not bullish to me though, and I'll explain that too in a moment. I'm gonna take the amplitude of this corrective bounce from the, let's see here, 2022 low uh, up to that high we saw towards the end of the year, beginning of the year. And I'm just gonna take that amplitude, I'm gonna apply it to the bottom that we've recently set and just say, hey, if we get an equal run, a measured move up, that's a chart pattern analysis, go to thepatternsite.com and look that up. 428 is, is thereabouts, that could be a price target, and this move could be corrective still, and we would still not be bullish. SPY could be setting up what's called a combination three, a double three. It's hard to explain. Let me go into SLV, where I did a ton of analysis. Uh, let me just zoom out here and zoom back in a little bit. What a combination three looks like is a very long sideways grind. I have it shown at the cycle degree currently. I believe we had one cycle wave one. This was early in 2021, and since then we've been in this corrective pattern. I'm gonna follow you through these, I think they're intermediate waves. A, B, C, W. What's W? W is the first three. What's X? X is what combines the two three wave moves. And this is commonly a zigzag itself, which it is, A, B, C. And then we start our next three, A, B, and C's way down here, and that completes a bunch of stuff marked as Y, or the bottom of cycle wave two. And currently we find ourselves in an uptrend. So I believe that we have completed the correction in SLV. Zooming into the hourly time frame, you're gonna see that we are currently in an uptrend, and I have this as a corrective rally, A, B, and C. And it is possible that we see SLV come down further. Uh, it's more likely though that we're gonna find ourselves in a flag, a small corrective pattern, and then a massive push higher. The retracement could come all the way down to 1950. We'll see whether or not we get there. I really do like this count. This is an updated count. This is the count I'm gonna go with. And I'm just gonna move on from here to AMC where my count suggests anything can happen. <laughs> AMC is of course looking bearish as always, as always. Wow, when did that become the case? I remember when it was not bearish. I remember when I was not bearish. <laughs> At any rate, this the, uh, this kind of flex in the price pushing down, this could mark a partial rise where the price fails to cross a chart pattern. It's typically a bearish indicator. You're gonna see the RSI flipping down at 54. This is looking bad, it's looking really bad. And I did notice today, we actually did have a push in implied volatility as the price headed south. And um, I was just thinking, I told you so, but it doesn't look like that shows up on this time frame. What did happen in the middle of the day, a little, little zigzag up there, and now it's coming down again. It's gonna be back and forth in the, in the implied volatility until we get a strong push and a new downtrend. Currently, the price is trendless. Of course, AMC shares its value, the company, in an equity called Ape, and Ape's kind of like a little price mountain. This is like the meme stock chart. I'm not even gonna go over it. GME, I have a count on GME, and I was forecasting a little more downside and then a dip, and we've gotten a little more downside, and it looks like we're starting that dip. We are at the 70 wet level in, in yellow here. You're gonna see a push down for one, two, I'm looking for three and four and five. I don't know where those are yet. It's possible that this little bump up, this was four, and this little down, this little recent downtrend we've had recently, this is five. It's possible that we're getting ready to bounce back up. It's also possible that the price is just going to tank and in a fifth wave extension. We don't really know, but typically that fifth wave comes down into oversold in the RSI, which would indicate or would imply that we're gonna come down. And you're gonna see the implied volatility here starting to creep up as we are rounding down to the price. This makes me think we're looking for more downside on GME, and if GME is going down, AMC is gonna go with it. 
Closing thought, I forgot to share my trades today. I did do some day trading on SLV, so I entered into a put for $66 and I exited it for $79. There's profits there. If you're paying attention, you're gonna see the mark on that contract is actually up at $84 right now. That's okay. I lift a profit another day. And of course, there's all this news. Look at this, looking into AMC's interest, recent short interest. This is Bazinga. And I'm just like totally uninterested. I don't even pay attention to this. I just breeze right by it and stick to the analysis. Okay. Now I'm out of here. Happy trading. Now I'm over five minutes too. Damn it.